Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today you will get information about the Parkinson disease etiology and pathogenesis. First of all, we should concentrate on the etiology of the disease. I did so many research from the internet, from the books. As a result, finally, I decided that the main cause of the disease is mutations in the genes. See? And when the genes mutated, they generate some kind of unnecessary and harmful proteins for the substance in Niagara Pars Compacta. As a result, the, the neurons located in the substance in Niagara Pars Compacta become degenerated and it can cause the death of some kind of neurons that located there. And the, the pathogenesis can be caused by the uh, lots of the function of the substance in Niagara Pars Compacta. Look at that. When the substance in Niagara Pars Compacta lost its function, it can cause the uh, uh, decreasing the direct pathway and increasing the function of the indirect pathway by this way. Okay. Substance in Niagara Pars Compacta discharge dopamine and it can stimulate dopamine one receptors and as a result net result is activating the thalamus when the thalamus activated it can cause the stimulating the motor cortex the net result is increasing motor activity and the loss of dopamine means that the uh, in decreased function of the direct uh, pathway it means that the increasing the indirect pathway you know, the net result of the indirect pathway is disinhibition of the subthalamic nucleus. Subthalamic nucleus' main function have two ways. First one is activating globus pallidus internus via glutaminergic system and activating substance in Niagara pars reticulata. Both substance in Niagara Pars reticulata and globus pallidus internus cause the inhibition of the thalamus. The thalamus, uh, after inhi inhibition of the thalamus, the thalamus couldn't perform its function properly and it couldn't activate the motor cortex. The net result is decreasing the motor activity. Okay, and uh, look at that. And uh, all of the clinical symptoms is due to the loss of the substance in Niagara Pars Compact neurons. The net result is motor activity decreasing. There are two types, main types of the Parkinson disease. First one is akinetic rigid type. Uh, you can detect easily by two symptoms I wrote down there. The first one is hypomimia. Hypomimia is, you can easily detect this. You couldn't uh, analyze and detect the facial expression of the patient. Uh, she or he is happy or unhappy, something like that. The second symptom is stopped posture. I tried to show this posture by myself. The shoulders and head bent to forward. Okay, that's the stop it, stop it posture. And the next type is tremor dominant type. The, you know, the tremor means that regularly uh, and uh, unwanted activity and muscle contraction. And regularly, maybe 60 times in a minute and uh, involuntary. You, you don't want to do some kind of muscle contraction. The pill rolling tremor is... Okay, you understand? The pill rolling tremor. That's the second type. The mixed type means that the combination of the first two types, akinetic rigid type and tremor dominant type. At the end of our uh, lecture, I'm going to talk about the anatomy of the Parkinson disease. When you <clears throat> get some kind of biopsy from the substance in Niagara Pars Compacta, you can detect under the microscope levy bodies. 
We call levy bodies. Uh, uh, levy bodies consist of mainly alpha synuclein. Although there are some kind of several types of the proteins available, but most uh, type of the protein is alpha synuclein. And the alpha synuclein is uh, translated and uh, generated and uh, synthesized in the remaining uh, neurons of the substance neural post compactor. Okay? All of the information, although it's difficult to understand, but we, if you want really, really want to become an excellent neurologist, you should understand this process. Thanks for listening and watching. See you next time.